All right, so welcome to les lesson one here, and we're going to go ahead and start creating our UV maps for our model. And luckily enough, we're not necessarily going to need any UV maps that are extremely um, heavy in terms of being unfolded. And we can simply just get away with s similar, to, like, sort of the basics of UV mapping. We really don't have to do an excessive amount of UV work to actually go ahead and texture our model here. So let's go ahead and begin and we're simply just going to go ahead and select the glass here and I'm just going to add this to its own layer just so we can hide it and um, UV map what is going to be the screen of our model here. So let's go ahead here and since we have the, the glass hid, let's just go ahead and add in a couple extra edge loops here on the screen so that we can maintain our shape and texture layout whenever we go to to render this okay so now that we have those added let's come in here and just simply open up our UV texture editor and you can see that this has a, a UV already on it but this isn't necessarily laid out in a clean way that we want so we'll just need to come up here to create UVs planar mapping and we're just simply going to create this in the Z axis okay so let's just click apply. I'm just going to move that off screen so that we can see what we're doing while we work here. So let's come up here and open the UV editor. And I'm just going to try and get this in the place properly so that you guys can see me work. So now that we have our UV for our screen simply placed in, what I want to go ahead and do here is come into the hypershade. And I want to check all of our UVs while we do this. And so we'll just create a blend shader here and if you just scroll down you'll see a, a file node or a texture node which is called checker and this is just going to allow us to go ahead and check our UV placement so just middle mouse drag and drop that over the blend and put it on the color node okay so we'll just go ahead and select here and apply that to our model okay and we'll just minimize this and you can see where our UV placement here is stretching a little bit and the, the squares are a little bit oblonged and that's not good. If we went into Photoshop and tried to texture that as it is, it's not just just not going to work properly, okay? So let's go ahead here over to the UV texture editor and I just simply hit image and turn the display image off. So we'll right click, hit UV, just select as many as you want and then I'm going to hold and push control down, then right click and select UV shell and this is going to allow me to go ahead and select the entire UV shell here so now I just need to basically bring in my scale tool and um, just scale down to go ahead and try and adjust these UVs a little bit so that they're more square as you can see so now I can just simply go ahead and scale this down and I'll just place this down on the bottom left hand corner so that I know where this is whenever I go to UV map the rest of these and we're only going to be basically UV mapping three pieces because we don't necessarily need a very high res texture for all this this is basically going to be a lot of shader work rather than actual texture images okay so let's select our home button here okay and we'll come up here and just basically do the same thing plane our map and we're just simply going to do this in the, the Z axis so we'll just go ahead and hit apply and you can see here where our UV comes in fairly nice okay and if I can just go ahead here and select object mode we'll select it and I'm just going to go ahead and select the, the shell of the entire model and I'll come up here to the unfold or smooth UV tool and we'll just go ahead and smooth it and you can see where it's going to basically bring those edges that are somewhat hidden out okay so we'll go ahead and just scale this down and we'll place this in the uh, the bottom right here so now let's go ahead here and select the the body of our iPhone and we'll just simply do the same thing here just try to select some faces here and I might have to select these in the the side image or the side image viewport so let's just do that come into our side image viewport here and we will go ahead and select the 
half of the front half of our iPhone here just making sure that I've selected everything that I want okay and we'll just jump back in here to the perspective viewport and come up here to create UVs and we're gonna go ahead and plane our map again and we'll just simply apply that and you can see where it creates a decent UV layout of those okay so let's go ahead and select that shell and we'll just try and scale this up a little bit here Okay, and just hitting one so I don't have any um, prob problems displaying or moving these UVs so let's go ahead and select the entire face of our body here and I'll just deselect the front half so now all I have is the back half selected and we'll just go ahead and basically plane our map again so it's the same process over again and we'll go ahead and just select it and we'll go ahead and turn on shade UVs just to make sure that we have this correct and you can see that this one's red which means that the, the UVs are actually backwards so we'll just go ahead and select that and we'll just go ahead and flip that and now it's back to normal here so let's go ahead and select that entire shell again and we're going to go ahead here and scale this up and we'll just try to get this proper so we'll go back into our smooth UV tool and we'll just come out a little bit just to make sure that our UVs are going to be laid out fine here and you can see we're on the bottom where this is going to cause somewhat of an issue maybe a little bit of an issue okay so we just need to basically adjust these UVs a little bit and this is just mainly time and just edit it as much as you want to go ahead and create the UV layout that you're going to be happy with so we just need to basically select some of these UV shells here. And I just want to make sure that nothing is basically overlapping is the key because if you have overlapping faces, your texture just isn't going to work as well as you want. And so I just have to go ahead and unfold this a little bit here. Go ahead and just try to pull this down and just simply unfold these a little bit and see where I need to do here. You're just going to have to adjust it as much as you want. And so you can see where I'm just simply selecting UVs and just moving them. And we'll come up here to the top just to make sure that nothing here is impinging or overlapping. Okay, so let's just go ahead and select those and basically just use the smooth UV tool again. And you can see where in some cases it does do a, a decent job of um, projecting, but you may have to edit it, and that's okay. And this just takes a little bit of time to go ahead and get these UVs all laid out properly, making sure that nothing is, like I said, overlapping or anything. Okay, so now we have to come over here to the other side and just pull these out just trying to make sure that I don't select anything that I don't want to select there okay and just trying to give myself enough room there as you can see so let's reopen our hyper shade here and just go into object selection mode and I'm just going to move this off screen so that I can go ahead and apply the shaders here Okay, and we'll go ahead and close the hyper shade window there. And you can see on the back where our UV layout here is is looking really good. I mean, this is um, good in terms of being able to add what we're going to need to add. Um, simply, and that's just what what's going to be like the Apple logo, and basically just a, a base color. So we shouldn't necessarily have too much problem there. Um, same thing here on the front, since this is basically just going to be a somewhat grayish darkest gray black we can uh, get away with that the main key here is is our home button I just need to make sure that this is going to be proper okay so with that selected we'll go back into the UV editor just select the entire shell of the home button and I'm just going to go ahead and scale this up just to make sure that that's that's fine I don't really see any stretching um, so yeah that's that's gonna be fine so let's go ahead and just scale this back down here 
Okay. And let's go ahead and select the body. Select the, oh, try to select the screen there. Okay, so select the shell of the body. And I'm just simply going to scale this down here. Just hitting one so, because you can see where if I use three, it sort of gets a little jumpy. So I'm just hitting one so that I have a very smooth feedback there. Let's just try to scale that down. And that's basically the UV layout that we can get away with. And I mean, you can arrange this any way that you, you want to. Um, since it's pretty simple, we can sort of just get away with the basics here. And these sort of oblong shapes and circles ne don't necessarily matter because it's only going to be a, a base color whenever we um, go to texture this. Okay, so with that pretty much done, let's just go ahead and reselect all three of these. And we'll just simply export our uh, UV map here. So we'll just go ahead and select the entire shell right click and just make sure that we selected the entire shell come over to polygons UV snapshot now what I like to do is I'm not going to texture this at a 1024 resolution or smaller because that image isn't going to give us a big enough image to actually be able to go ahead and, and lay, overlay textures or whatever so I like to really paint on a higher res image or a larger image this way it makes it easier for me to see in terms of what I'm doing in, in texture so 4096 should be fine um, I'm not changing any of the UV range options for this we don't necessarily need to do that simple because it's a fairly simple model so let's just go to browse and we'll just go ahead and place the UV map into our source images folder so we'll go iPhone um, UV uh, iPhone body is probably a better one UV okay and we'll just go ahead and basically export that out and there you go we have our iPhone pretty much mapped and in the next lesson we'll come back and start working in Photoshop to go ahead and basically texture our model